plan. Today I'm here to introduce our new product, as well as to thank everybody who's purchased our product in the past, caught fish with them, and also all the support we've received from local fishermen and fishermen internationally also. Uh, today we're bringing out Salty Tongue, which is a new type of bait that we produce here at our factory in Sebastian, Florida. What it is, is large tongues off of clams that have all the guts removed, so all you get is a tongue. They're packed in nitrogen, which makes it so that they don't corrode, they won't go bad. You can actually hang them on a shelf and sell them at retail location. They'll stay good on the shelf for six months. And when you take them fishing, you just cut them open, use them for bait. Whatever's not used, you can keep in this package or put in a Ziploc, which we will soon be putting these in once we get the labeling issues straight from the manufacturing end. And keep them and use them again. Oftentimes when fishing with squid or other baits, at the end of the day, I take whatever's left and throw it over the rail, feed the birds, whatever, it's just junk. When I fish with salt clam, there's no junk. When I'm done fishing, I take my bait and I carefully store it for the next time because it's gonna work. And it's an important item every time I go out to catch fish for me. I have my salt clam on hand because if I wanna catch bait, if I wanna catch some kind of local fish, there's a very good chance I can do that with salt clam. And I can keep it in my tackle bag for long periods of time and not worry about it going bad on me let me down which is always disappointing so anyhow this uh, will retail for ten dollars which is the same price as our native salt clam uh, as far as which one I would choose when I go fishing uh, I really don't know I like this here for deep sea drops snapper fishing drum fishing shark fishing a lot of the bigger fish where I want to present a bigger tougher piece of bait I like to use this salt the tongue uh, it is very very tough and it stays on the hook a long time when I'm doing more of a finesse type of fishing, going for pompano or whiting on the beach, some types of bait fishing, I like to use original native salt clam. The pieces are a little smaller, but they're just as tough. But I like the finesse issue with using the native salt clam more. This is more of a brute force effort to catch a fish right here. If you want to go offshore or you want to catch bait fish and you want something that will absolutely stay on the hook until you get a chance to catch what you're after, you want native salt clam salty tongues.